Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have the world's smallest soda can phone or I would rather say it as a mini Coca-Cola smartphone. I guess to avoid copyright claims they have changed it to Cola Caco at the back which totally makes sense and for this video I'll say that too. This tiny device actually works and I'll show you all its functions which I have timestamped in the description of this video. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and occasionally I do crazy bizarre tech review on this channel like this world's smallest soda can phone. Check out the playlist tab to find dedicated playlist for all the crazy tech that I have reviewed on this channel. Nowadays you might have came across such tiny smartphones on your Amazon or Wish shopping application which are less than 100 bucks and you might wonder what are these? Do they actually work? Well I have one today with me, it's called the Saytrand K8 Cola Caco mini soda can phone which is available on Amazon for just 50 bucks. You can check out the links in the description of this video if you are interested in getting one for yourself. I have done a review video of the world's smallest flip phone which also works and it is linked at the end of this video make sure to check it out and just last week I reviewed the world's smallest iPhone that also works like a charm and you'll find that video linked at the end of this video which I don't want you to miss out on. Now let's start with unboxing. It came in a very tiny box which says Saytrand K8 wireless dialer slash mini phone. Before we open it up, at the very bottom it says it's a red color. Speaking of colors, you get multiple options like the classic red cola caco or the diet cola caco, the pipesi phone in blue and green as well as the Heineken light green phone. This is pretty cool. It basically is a GSM phone, so any GSM SIM card will work on it. Here is the dimension. Surprisingly, the screen is only one inch, but it's a color display. It has a 32 megabytes of RAM and a 32 megabytes of storage. Yes, it's megabyte, not gigabyte, but it has 600 milliamp hour of battery. It can store about 300 to 500 contacts with dual SIM capabilities, MP3 playback, Bluetooth dialing, one key recording, SMS, alarm clock, etc. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up. So inside the box, you'll find the soda can smartphone itself, which we'll come back to it in a second. There is a keychain holder to securely hold your phone as it's very easy to misplace this tiny soda can phone. There is a micro USB to USB charging cable. There is a user manual, which we don't need to look at. Alright, let's have a look around at this tiny device. At the front there is the color display with the earpiece grill on the top and a T9 keyboard under the display. At the back it has a tiny camera with a loudspeaker grill on top of it with the Cola Caco classic design. At the bottom it says net 330 milliliters. I wish they could have just taken the zero out at the end as it's obviously not 330 milliliters. Anyways, at the very bottom there is the microphone and at the very top there is a micro USB charging port and the keychain holder loop. So overall I'm really impressed with the design. Now you can open the back cover to reveal the battery which does feel quite nostalgic. There is a tiny groove on the side with which you can pop open the lid using your nail. Under the hood you will see the camera, the loudspeaker grill and the battery which is 3.7 volt 600 milliamp hour battery cell. You can take it out from the bottom groove. This reveals the dual sim card slot with a memory card slot. Yes, you can slide two GSM micro SIM cards and switch between them as needed. I have a nano SIM which will not work on this device but you can still use this device as a Bluetooth dialer. Anyways, the battery is super thin, tiny and lightweight. Let's pop the battery back and start the device. It does give you a welcome chime with a color animation on the display. Okay, now let's talk about how to use this mini soda can phone as a Bluetooth dialer. 
So this tiny phone has built-in Bluetooth with which you can pair this phone up to your smartphone as a Bluetooth headset. Let's go in the menu of this tiny soda can phone wherein you will find the Bluetooth dialer. You will find options like BT dialer, power, visibility and my name. Now by default the Bluetooth comes turned off so you have to turn the Bluetooth on by going in the power. Doing this will enable your smartphone to find this mini soda can phone. And then the pairing process is pretty straightforward like any other Bluetooth device. Once paired you go in the BT dialer to find your connected device. In my case it's the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. You can pair this up to multiple Bluetooth devices but to do that you have to turn on the visibility which currently is turned off. Now let's talk about other menu options. So the first one is phone book. Now if you have a SIM card inserted you will also find locally stored SIM contacts. But since this tiny phone is connected to my smartphone it pulls the contact list of my Galaxy S10 Plus. You can check the details of any contact from here. You can call, send a text or save the contact to this tiny soda can phone's memory which will only allow about 300 to 500 contacts. Moving on the next option in the menu is messaging where you will find options like write a message, inbox, drafts, outbox, send message, delete message and sms settings. Now the list item in any app are number coded so you can jump on to any list item by just dialing that number from the keyboard. Now let's check out the typing experience. Instantly you will find options where you will find input method which includes a lot of different languages but I just end up using the regular T9 keyboard. Anyways here is where you will find option to insert symbols or numbers. Now typing on this T9 keyboard takes me back to those days when my first ever phone I got was the Nokia 6600 and you do need a good muscle memory to use this T9 keyboards. So if you have the muscle memory for this keyboard then typing can be actually fun and really fast. I remember those days when I used to type faster on a T9 keyboard versus a QWERTY keyboard. Next option in the menu after messaging is call center which is basically the call log or history of missed calls, dialed calls or received call. Now in the call setting you will find answer mode. If you select any key then you will be able to answer a call by pressing any key except obviously the call end key which is dedicated for ending or rejecting a call. The next option is magic voice where you get option of men, woman or child's voice option. This apparently does not work with the Bluetooth call. It presumably will only work with the SIM card call. Let me know in the comments down below if you were able to use this option and if it worked for you or not. Next option in the menu is multimedia which we'll come back to it in a second. Let's quickly talk about organizer. Here is where you'll find calendar with a monthly view and it's quite handy. Next is alarm where you can set multiple alarms and the speaker of this tiny little device is quite loud. Last option is services which will be only available if you have inserted a sim card. The last option is settings where you will find profiles to quickly toggle between profiles like general, silent, meeting and outdoor. Next is phone settings where you will find option to adjust time and date, language, input settings which we touched based earlier during this video display here is where you will find option to set a wallpaper screen auto lock time which for this video purpose is five minutes and show time and date on the main display next is dedicated key where you can assign a task to the up and the down arrow key next is auto update time flight mode and miscellaneous settings like LCD brightness. By the way in any such phones usually the asterisk or star key is for decreasing value and the pound or hash key is for increasing value. Under LCD brightness is the picture quality and key backlight which is on in my case. 
Going back under the phone setting, you'll find security settings like phone security, which is to lock the phone and screen lock. Under security setting is the dual SIM setting and restore factory setting. Now let's finally go into the multimedia. Here is where you'll find camera for which you all have been waiting for. The camera is very basic VGA camera. It certainly is a poor quality camera, but it's just good to see a camera on such a tiny device. Under the options, you'll find photos where you can access all the captured pictures, which you can either view, send, use as a wallpaper, rename, delete, and get more information like the resolution of the captured image is just 128 by 96 pixels compare it to a 4k resolution of 3840 by 2160 image size is just 2.5 kb other options includes camera setting like anti-flicker scene mode white balance delay timer other setting includes image setting and storage. Under the storage, you can switch between memory card or phone memory. Oh, by the way, you can install a memory card on this tiny soda can phone. It goes over the dual SIM card slot as shown over here. With the image and video size, I think a 4 gig of memory card will be more than enough. However, I have inserted a 32 gig of memory card for trial purpose and this tiny little device can easily handle it. Now you will be surprised that you didn't see any option to capture an image and that is because the number 5 is dedicated to capturing an image. Going back under the camera, you'll find all the captured images. Under that is the video recorder, which is worse than the images. But again, good to have it. Under options, you'll find camcorder settings like anti-flicker, video settings like the quality of the video, storage where you can switch between phone and memory card. To record a video, you can again click number 5. No doubt it's the worst camera, but considering the price and the size of this phone, it's just better than nothing. Now under camcorder, you'll find music. Since this tiny phone is connected to my smartphone, it will work as a music player of my phone. Again, number five is to play or pause. Number six or four is for skipping a track forward or backward. And to control volume, you can use the asterisk or hash key. If you want to play the stored music files from the memory card, you have to disconnect the Bluetooth music first. Now this tiny soda can phone also has an audio recorder. Again, for this to work, you have to disconnect the Bluetooth connection, which is a bummer. You will also need a memory card to use the video and the audio recorder. Lastly, it's the file manager, where you can access the files on the phone memory or the memory card and manage files like rename files or folders, delete files or folders, create a new folder, etc. It's just so mesmerizing to see all such options on such a tiny soda can phone. Lastly, in terms of battery life with my testing, it easily goes for a full day with few calls per day, few minutes of music playback and here and there image capturing. I believe so if you were to insert a SIM card, it will be a different story as it may not go past few hours with calling on a SIM card. Now my final verdict is that this is a novel phone. I will never use this phone but boy, if I were to pull this out of my pocket, this phone can be a conversation starter and will easily catch a lot of eyeballs. As come on, this can spark curiosity in any individual. Alternately, I can use this as a backup phone or if I were to travel to a different country, I can use any GSM SIM card on this tiny little device. In fact, two of them. So if you desperately want one, you can check out the links in the description of this video. 
So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.